<laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Look who's here. It's my friend Francis Galiski of the Missouri Department yeah. of Conservation. I usually just see it on the Facebook. It's good uh -huh. to see you off it's, the Facebook. Well, it's good to be here, Tom and Joy. Yeah, yeah. I haven't seen you for quite a while. I know. It's been a while, but I'm here now, so yeah. Well, okay. that means there has to be something important going Right, on. there right. is. And I, I got to tell you, we're here to talk about feral hogs, yeah. of course. I mean, what's yeah. up with the feral hogs? Like, this is news to me. Well, this is, it's a problem that's growing in Missouri. Uh, feral hogs, which is basically hogs used to be domestic way back in their lineage, but now they're wild on the landscape. They are a growing problem in Missouri. Uh, from the conservation side of it, they destroy habitats for wildlife and and you know streams for fish and stuff like that. From the agricultural standpoint, they cause problems because they hurt, they cause damage in fields, mm -hmm. they can spread diseases to domestic hogs. So we are on a campaign to get rid of them. Uh, we're working with the U.S. Department of Agriculture in the state of Missouri, and our goal is total eradication. Now I've, I've heard of different places of the country where they have feral hog hunts and different things yes. like that. How is the Department of Conservation working well, on this? Well, the one way we're working on it, we've actually taken the word hunt out of the picture. Because uh -huh. as I said, our goal is eradication. Look at it like rats. We trap rats because they spread diseases and they cause problems. Same thing we're approaching feral hogs. We trap them because they, they spread disease and cause problems. How we're approaching it, we are on Department of Conservation land, there are regulations you cannot hunt feral hogs. The reason is trapping is a much more effective way of getting rid of them than hunting. Hunting, you shoot a few, scatter the rest. And on private land, while you can shoot hogs, you, you can do, still do that, we're also encouraging private landowners to contact us so we can trap them there too to get rid of them. Because as I said, the goal is elimination. And you're not talking about trapping one at a time. You're kind of no. talking about corralling a right. whole bunch together. What we do is when we get a report of feral hogs or damage of them, uh, we will talk to the landowner, uh, find out kind of you know where they're at, we'll put out bait, We'll bait it over a period of time, mm -hmm. get the hogs coming in. We will have a trap around there that actually we could, we will be monitoring the trap when we get a large number of hogs in there. We electronically drop the gate so all the hogs are trapped. We kill all those hogs and that problem is eliminated. And then you bury the hogs. We bury the hogs, yeah, because as we said, the, uh, uh, the, the hog meat, the, they've been known to carry diseases, mm -hmm. so while we, we say it's up to the landowner when we do it on private lands to do what the meat, what they, what they wish. We advise them that they have been known to carry diseases, so we, we usually just bury the hogs. And one of the things that you touched on also, if you're doing it yourself, you kill one or two, these others scatter. They get a lot smarter about yes. what's going on. Yes, yeah. that, that, that's what happens when you, when you uh, uh, shoot one or two, it scares the rest, and they learn from that. Though, so they, you know, whatever, uh, we were trying to do to get rid of this group where well, you have just scattered them. They can continue to reproduce. Uh, uh, sow can have two litters a year, up to seven hogs each time. So if you do a little exponential math, that problem can grow very quickly. So that's why trapping is the key. And as I said, on our land, on Department of Conservation land, that's the way we get rid of them. We also try to put the word out to landowners. If they uh, have hog problems, call us. We can trap them, get rid of the problem. All right, what's the best way to reach you and learn more? The, the, you can, uh, there's a website, mdc.mo.gov slash feral hog. Mm -hmm. That's if you have problems or you want to report sightings, you can also call our office here in Springfield. That's 417-895-6880. All right, Francis Galiski, thank Francis. you. Thank you oh, very I'd much. I'd fall over dead if I saw one of those in my yard. <laughs> Ooh, yikes. Uh, yeah. Uh. All right. It's